Hello everyone, I am Levin and today I want to explain to you the principle of the caged system. So, the caged system explains a principle on your guitar and as the word is written, it works with the letter C, A, G, E and D. It's a principle that works with a C chord, an A chord, a G chord, an E chord and a D chord. And um, what is important in this principle? The shapes of the chord. So what this means is that I can play every chord, let's say a major chord, it's easier with a major chord, I can play every major chord on my guitar fretboard up and down um, in the basic shapes of a C major chord, an A major chord, a G major chord, an E major chord or a D major chord. The first and uh, the easiest example for this principle on the guitar is the F chord that we all learn in the beginning. It's a bar chord. It goes like this. And we think that this is the fingering form or the shape of an F chord because we learn it like this. But when I move it down one fret, then I can put this finger away. It's basically nothing else than an E major chord. So what we have to understand or what we have to see on our fretboard before we start to, to understand the caged system is we need to find every shape, the C shape, the A shape, the G shape, the E shape and the D shape in a bar chord form. So how I do this is I take a C major chord like this, a C shape, the basic C shape. And what I'm going to do now is I have my fingers one, two and three here and I exchange them on the fretboard like the first finger becomes the second and the second finger the third and the third finger the fourth. So now I have the same shape. I just I just exchange the fingers and now my first finger is free and I can use it as a bar. Now I can move this one fret up and put like a bar here and now I still have a C shaped chord, a major shaped chord that looks like a C, a C major, but it's actually, it became a bar chord. So that's what I'm going to do with the C shape, exchange the fingers and then try to use this finger as a bar chord. So now I'm going to do the same with an A major. This is the basic form of an A major chord. I exchange the fingers 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3 and 4 like this. And now I can move them up one fret and put finger, my first finger as a bar. And down. We know this chord, like a C major, sometimes we learn it like this. Or maybe a B flat major, maybe we learn the B flat major like this in some songs or something like this. So this is basically nothing else but an A major shape, an A major chord form. So uh, what's the next? It's a G. That's a little bit difficult, I think. Um, a G major is basically like this. So I try to exchange the fingers. Sometimes it's, it's hard to work with 
the third and the fourth finger like this but now I just try it to move it up and put this in the first bar. Now even a G major chord shape or the G major chord as we know it became a bar chord. See that? Like that. It's a little bit difficult, that's why we don't learn it as a bar chord. We just learn it like this. Or maybe like this. Or classical guitarists learn it more like this. So now we are at a G, now we have an E. I gave an example for an E. The first example everybody learns that is basically an E-shaped chord. I exchange the fingers again, move it up. And as you can see, this is, it looks like the F major chord everybody learns in the beginning. So this is also nothing else but the shape of an E major chord. So the next, the last chord is the D. That's also sometimes it's a little bit difficult for the D shape and the D chord. I'm gonna use just the last four, four strings, maybe the last five strings, the first five strings, sorry. Because this is string number one, string number two, string three, four, five and six. I'm gonna use one, two, five. And now I try it to exchange the fingers. One, two and three, two, two, three and four. It's still the, sh the same, still the same chord, the same shape. And now I'm gonna move it up one fret and put this as a bar like a bar chord down here. So now I can move up a D chord shape, a D major chord shape as a bar chord up the fretboard, up and down. So let's, uh, let's look again to all the chords as a bar form. I had the C major shape, exchange the fingers like this, and now I can, for an example like this, I can use it as a bar. Now an A, A major was like this, exchange the fingers, and I can move it up, use it as a bar shape. A G, like this, exchange the fingers, like this, and I can move it up as a bar shape. And now uh, an E, E major, exchange the fingers, move it up and I can use it as a bar form. And now a D, D major shape, exchange the fingers and I can move it up like a bar shape. So that's the first thing we have to understand and we have to try to understand the caged system. So now what the caged system means is that I can play, I said it before I think, I can play every major chord for example, I can play every major chord in one of these five shapes. And I want to explain this to you on, uh, on a C major chord. 